Today I will design an inverting and non-inverting operation on amplifier by using Proteus software. Uh, firstly, we open Proteus software. We know how to open uh, and pick up components. To, firstly, we design an inverting operational amplifier. We know inverting operational amplifier. What is inverting operational amplifier? We know the theoretical value. So we pick up a component. Uh, we in this project we component pick up active LM741 of the original amplifier. We know LM741 firstly we pick up. We know 17 LM741. And the next we register pick up. In this project we need mandatory remember that where register will be active register will be active not passive will passive register not dv simulation on so we care about that we in this project we care in register value register will be active so we see um, register active and active register will be pick up and there's value is individual you choice so firstly we need register register will be active mandatory mandatory will be active next we will place the op amps and it's inverting op amps so we connected register in place we also flip the open into point minus and plus so we can change minus and plus and we place register in non inverting end we know how open consists non inverting and one is RF and one is RI resistor so we connect it to resistor now open to long pin and one pin is two output by connected in six it's a non inverting it's a inverting sorry it's inverting open so we connect we also choose DC or AC volt meter is inverting so we connected into voltage in negative point is signal or this signal that's your choice but in this signal we will choice is a signal And then we connect down in a three long pin. And we also it's a source, so AC voltmeter will be connected in input out and output also. One pin is input voltmeter and one is a ground. And the same as one is voltmeter connected input and one is ground, we know parallelly connected. So after you pick up a oscilloscope, oscilloscope airport connected in the uh, main signal and one B is connected in our output signal. In the oscilloscope connected, we see the value of wave shape, so we need oscilloscope. And we need plus VCC, also minus VCC. So, plus VCC, we connect DC voltage source. We can we connect plus 4 pin and 7 pin. In plus VCC also minus VCC connected. Plus VCC will be connected 7 and minus VCC will be connected 4 of non open pin.
we know LM7 belongs to the brain, so we connect it. If we see the block diagram on LM7, then we get a more idea. So we can change the resistor value also. I choose resistor value by my chosen value and you can choose also you can DC voltage so you can add frequency also RMS value change and we change the plus VCC minus VCC plus 15 volt to minus 15 volt we can change and after complete the circuit value changing and we can run on simulation we this is amplifier so we can change input voltage is higher than output voltage input voltage is output voltage this is amplify the voltage amplifier likes in voltage amplify so we can talk with this we also see the shape of oscilloscope we can off put c and d because we are not connected c and d so we can off to put c and d put also be off and we see the oscilloscope display we see yellow and blue yellow pin is also our input pin we see the simulation page we also connect yellow is the input pin and blue is our output pin so we see yellow in this graph this is our in input pin and blue is our output pin and by making offsetting we can change the below also This is our inverting pin, so we see the sine wave starting from 0 degree and the blue shape will be starting in 180 degree phase shift, 180 degree phase shift, so we see blue inverting amplifier, we know inverting is invert the signal 180 degree, so it's proved that it's an inverting signal also. Then we clear the again and we also connect non inverting amplifier uh, in non inverting amplifier, same as inverting amplifier, just input line input voltage will be changed. In non inverting, we also connect RF and RI register in negative end. Also connect in the we completed in the first same as the second also and we connected voltage source DC voltage source we know the AC or DC both are connected so we connected DC voltage source and the plus VCC also minus VCC we connect in plus. 15 minus 15 volt we know this is a inverting in, a non inverting so we connected DC voltage source in plus end 
trinumbum pin is or basically invert non inverting end so we connected this is the non inverting end and we also connect voltmeter in positive and negative input and output signal so we connected in signal voltmeter DC voltmeter as a it's a DC voltage source, so we need DC voltmeter. We connected one pin is a ground and one also connected output, and one resistor output will be connected in the ground. After the computer circuit, we can change the value. And we also change the plus BCC also minus BCC. After the complete circuit, we also change value. And we add DC voltage. And after complete circuit, we can run simulation on. We see input signal is amplified bigger than output signal. So it's amplified by using amplified circuit. And we also place oscilloscope. I say uh, how the wave will be show. We can see in oscilloscope display. So we add oscilloscope A also B pin input and also output signal we see the voltmeter display input signal is greater and then output signal output signal is increasing so this proves that our amplified signal is amplified and we also see the oscilloscope output in this signal we use DC voltmeter, so we DC voltage source also DC voltmeter. Uh, we see the graph will be uh, the signal will be straight line because we DC signal we know DC signal is a straight line, so no frequency change. And this signal we also see no frequency change, so it's proved that it's the uh, inverting, non inverting, and also. This is DC, so DC board is all amplified. Thank you, everyone, to see my next video target again. More video.